How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Python tutorial. I'm Rudalinal, going to be showing off some unit curses today. And in the last couple of videos, we've been looking at some uh, Windows function and, and, and panels that can manipulate the screen and that sort of thing. So in this video, I'm going to make it a little simple because the last tutorials have been like way too long, 10 minutes. Pfft, who has time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that shit! And uh, that sort of thing. So... I'm going to introduce a very simple function to you guys today that is actually going to be about safety. Now, I'm not going to be giving you guys a lecture on the birds and the bees and stuff. I'm just going to let you know that if you want your program to have colors, if you want to make sure that the user has the most beautiful experience in freaking eight colors, there is a function that allows you to test does the does the terminal that we're actually running in have colors so we can set this up before we actually create our screen and we can test if has colors now what has colors will do is it will test does our terminal actually have colors so if it does what we can do is go ahead and print all right yeah we've got colors go ahead and run I mean, obviously, this will not be seen in the case because it'll just go ahead and create everything. But if I actually ran this, let's see what it'll do. Nothing happens, but if I break out, okay, we don't even get to see that print screen. The thing that I want to specify, though, is we can test if we do not have colors. What we're going to want to do is actually probably break out. So I'm going to return zero because I'm creating a main function here, and that's going to that's going to end the window and everything. The end of the program, anyway. Then we can display. You need to have colors to run this program. Or you might need to be more specific. Your terminal emulator needs to have color, um, colors accessibility. That that functionality to run this program. So that's the only way to like force your program to be able to do it. You could just set it up uh, to run it before the start color, because maybe you're you're maybe you can allow the the user to run the program without using color. It'll just be like black and white or whatever the person has set up for their their terminal colors and their, their setup scheme. But this is the way that we can do it as like a, a prerequisite for our program. We can make sure that, yeah, if we, we, if we don't have color, then we might not want to bother doing what we're doing. Okay, <laughs> that's all that I really wanted to show you guys. Very, very simple. Just this function. It has colors. Kind of wanted to take a break from all the long stuff we've been doing in the last couple of tutorials. But all right, we're going to jump back into action very, very soon. If you are enjoying the series, please let me know. Write me a comment. Uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you're willing. I don't care. Do whatever you feel is most comfortable, that you're most comfortable with. But I, I like to know your input. It means that I might be doing things right. And I'd like to know what other functions, what other modules, what other languages would you like to see in any tutorial series. Alright, I'll let you guys go. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you later.